Hello, this is my video describing the homebrew release process. So hopefully other maintainers and any interested contributors or users can follow along and see how we do new homebrew releases. So today I'm wanting to do a new homebrew release. It's a Monday afternoon. That's generally when I at least investigate whether a release is sensible or possible. I have a weekly recurring reminder in my reminders app to do this. So the starting point, first of all, is the releases page on docs.brew.sh. So this basically describes what we need to do for a release. So the steps for a um, new homebrew release that's not major or minor are quite a bit simpler, and that's what we're doing today. So first thing, check homebrew, brew, pull requests and issues to see if there's anything pressing that needs to be in there. So let's see, so it's a releases page. So issues, this is all stuff that the last issue that was opened, that's still opened is three days old. There's nothing in here that's super high priority that really needs to be fixed for the next release. If there was, then we'd want to get a fix in there before we are doing a new release. Similarly on the pull requests, there's a few PRs here. There's stuff with brew style and PR pull that John and I are working on, but those are both developer commands. So we don't need to wait for a new release for them because developer commands, the people who run them are gonna be on the master branch anyway. So there's no sense holding a release up or rushing them in just for a new release. We're mainly caring about stuff related to the stable stuff, stuff related to everyday users. And there's been a PR, for example, that has gone and added a new DSL. So that's something that we want to get in a new release so it can be used by users. I'm also, just to be safe, gonna go and check the homebrew core issues. There's nothing in here in particular that looks like it's related to a recent homebrew brew change. So again, similarly, that doesn't need to be held off on that account. And then similarly in discourse, I've checked through some of these already just to make sure there wasn't any sort of new pressing change that relates to that. Similarly, if we go to homebrew brew, I wanna see when the last commits have been. So there's nothing changed in three hours. So that's a fairly good insight given the time as well. It's four o'clock. So East coast of America is likely a week and working already. So generally that also communicates to us that there's nothing that's very, very badly broken that has just shipped on the master branch. So let's go check after that. No changes have happened for at least a few hours, ideally 24 hours. In this case, we're gonna be a little bit more flexible. We're not waiting 24 hours for code changes, but we are going to go and as I did there, check the commits, then we can create a new Git tag. So we can sign it ideally with our GPG key and then push it to GitHub. So what I'm gonna do here is just check that I'm on the latest version of my various aliases for that. And then I want to make a tag. So the last tag that was made was 2.2.12. So you could do this through the GitHub UI, but for the sake of argument, I'm gonna do it through um, the command line. So I'm gonna do 2.2.13, then make the message for that tag to, because it's signed 2.2.13 as well. Just check that it's in there. Yep, the top of that list. So I'm then gonna push the new tags. Copy and paste that, because I'll need that shortly. And it'll pop up here as the latest tag. So we don't get any of this nice release stuff unless we make a release manually on GitHub as well. So we're gonna do that with the release title. We're gonna use brew release notes specify the previous tag as the argument, and then the PB copy means that it's gonna copy it straight into the clipboard. So then here we've got, that generates all the kind of stuff that's gone in there, who did it, etc. And we can publish the release. So now people go here, then they see this nice list of things as well. So now if we brew update, everything should work as expected. It's gonna be nothing of any real note because this has been pushed on my machine itself, but just again, not a bad idea to run the command just to make sure it's working okay. Brew config will now show that it's homebrew version is 2.2.13. And there we go, we've done a new release. There's demand, I will make a video when I do the next major release because that's a little bit more involved. I was writing a blog post and actually announcing it and stuff like that. Thanks for watching.